this quick clip, I'll explain to you what a connected car is and why that is gaining importance nowadays. So first off, a connected car is a vehicle that is connected to the internet. That's the most common uh, format when we speak about this. There's also V2V, so vehicle to vehicle. So vehicles can, between themselves, connect and share information back and forth. There's also V2I, so vehicle to infrastructure, which means that vehicles can connect to smart parking meters or other smart city type of uh, gadgets. And then there's uh, vehicle to everything, which is more of the Internet of Things, IoT, part of the world. But the most common is V2C, vehicle to cloud. Uh, and this is also what we talk about right now when we speak about connected cars. So. To do this, the vehicle needs connectivity and the most common part of this is the embedded connectivity the vehicle has a modem built in. Um, in the Previously, before this became mainstream, there was also different type of hardware that could be plugged into the vehicle or maybe it was tethered through a smartphone that it was connected through USB or Bluetooth. But nowadays, connected car is really when it's embedded in the factory, a modem is embedded and it can be used later on. Now the use cases, what to do with this, um, are quite many. So first off, you can imagine a Tesla perhaps, I mean, would a Tesla, um, all the types of things that it offers to their owners, would it really work if it wouldn't be connected? No, it wouldn't, it was connected from day one. So there are a lot of different functionality that can be brought into the vehicles by having an internet connection. Uh, traffic information is really a basic example, but there's a bunch of other things like uh, entertainment, uh, navigation, and so on that can be done within the vehicle to enhance the driving experience or the experience when the vehicle is not being driven. Apart from that, there's also safety related things that are being explored. For instance, when we speak about V2V, so vehicle to vehicle, the vehicles can share different type of hazard information with each other. This can also be done over the cloud. So this is also quite mainstream and on the streets today. And beyond that, there's also more and more we can see that interfaces are being opened up to connected cars that means that different third-party services can start accessing um, the cloud environments where the vehicles are connected to and communicate with the vehicles, which opens up a new, completely new world of third-party services also working with vehicle data or being able to send data to a vehicle. And of course, that's, that's the kind of basics of a connected car that it can connect uh, and provide those type of functionality. Now, if we go forward, what can we expect here? It's still a lot that's being done in this industry. Uh, there are a lot, tons and, or millions and millions of connected cars on the streets. So there's a lot of discussion really about how the connected car, um, who is in control of it, how can the drivers really use that data or uh, their connected car for the best experiences. So that is really an ongoing topic that we see still today. So that's the basic definition. Uh, if you want to see more about what the connected car is or read more about this, uh, check out the link below in the des description where we have a blog post talking about exactly this. Thanks for watching.